King University Director of Athletic Communications here with Frank Morgan, Director of Esports. Uh, Coach, how you been doing the last six, eight weeks or so since since the uh, esports world kind of got shut down? Well, uh, if you look at a gamer and say, hey, you can't leave the house for eight weeks, they're going to go, what? <laughs> so uh, I can't say it's been the worst um, in terms of esports because we can still play, we can still talk. Uh, still have a lot of fun, um, but obviously not being around each other and all the insane things going on in the world right now is, is, is a little concerning. So outside of that, I think we're having a pretty good time and uh, making the most of what, we're, uh, what we got here. Yeah, now this year you played Overwatch in the fall, had a pretty solid season. We're just getting going in League of Legends this spring. Um, talk about how those seasons went and, and some of the highlights from, from what you were able to do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Overwatch was, was a great season, actually. We... Um, uh, yeah, I think we, we wound up 14 and three overall. That's league play and a couple of just weekly tournaments that we would do. Um, one of those tournaments was a 64 person bracket. Uh, I think they call them Overwatch weeklies and we wound up in the final four oh, wow. of that one. So, um, that was a really good experience. We wound up playing Overwatch basically all day on Saturday as we moved through that. I mean, what was that? Five rounds. Uh, it was a heck of an experience. Um, in the ECAC, we made it to the second, third round of playoffs, I think, and then we lost to Syracuse, who um, you know has a really good Overwatch team. Uh, but it, it was strange. We lost to Syracuse. I think we beat somebody that beat them. Like we had this whole triangle, and then you know the bid that we got in the playoffs was was them, and I think they took us like two to one or something. So it was an improvement from the first time we played them. Um, League of Legends. I think uh, Nate Williams and Sam Oplinger were carrying like an eight KDA between the two of them. It was really unbelievable. They were playing support and ADC together. As you know, they're also a couple. So that's a really, really good combo for them. But uh, they were single-handedly just decimating League of Legends matches. Um, and our jungler, Dustin Estes, he's Diamond 2 ranked, you know, probably top 2%, 1% or 0.02 percent i'd have to look again uh of players in the world um and some of the jungle plays that he would make and the vision that he had really also single-handedly carried us in some aspects of the game so we had a lot of really good things going on um but again you know with, with everything that's going on it was strange to see esports get canceled but I know logistically, you know, people have to go to work to put esports together. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll just chalk it up to my ignorance. But, um, you know, yeah. yeah, league was going really well. Started out two and zero. They canceled it, and here we are. So since then, it's just been a lot of you know recruiting and trying to see what's going to happen for next year. Yeah, let's let's look at next year. So this was the second year of esports here at King. Looking into year three, your first year was was this year. Looking into year three, uh, we got Overwatch, we got League, and you said we're we're gonna add Rocket League too. Talk about where where this program is going and and your thoughts for it. Oh yeah, um, well always the program is centralized around having a good atmosphere, uh, being an environment where everybody can work together and improve, uh, regardless of what level of player you are. That is. The mentality that is going to be in our room always uh, but looking into the rocket league we've got three grand champs uh, two I actually got my second verbal yesterday and uh pretty much a verbal on the third one so uh, we'll see how that you know pans out but uh here in a week or so we'll know if um you know if the lineup will be there but I, the way it looks now three grand champs all top 100 in north america very motivated. They were actually a team at one point a year ago. So uh, I got in with one of them and, you know, slowly started to build the relationship. But, yeah, yeah they're super motivated. I actually just got off the phone with one of them five minutes before I was talking to you. I was like, hey, what time is it? Wait, I need to put a collared shirt on and brush my hair. And Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, but no, that's going really well. Um, Rocket League's looking really tough. And on top of, you know, the Overwatch and the League of Legends, there's a new game out now called Valorant. Uh, I'm sure anybody in esports has heard it. It is a new FPS created by the same people who did League of Legends. A lot of the kids are extremely excited about that game. They're putting a lot of time into it. So possibilities, you know what I mean? We'll see. We'll see what the interest is like and uh, what other kind of recruiting we can do this year um, to nail the rest of that down. 
Awesome. That sounds like exciting times coming up for esports. Uh, thanks Absolutely. for joining us and stay safe. Hey, will do.